Singer Shaka Khan tonight wrapped the Prometica Promenade Park concert series. Dick Berry reports before she hit the stage, someone hit a button to brighten the city skyline. This is the latest piece of artwork on a canvas known as the downtown Toledo skyline. The Anthony Wayne Bridge has been relit, shining brighter than ever before. Hundreds of new LED lights line the decks and cables of the 1931 bridge that carries traffic over the Maumee River. It's a $900,000 sparkling facelift paid for with private donations raised by longtime local arts advocate Susan Reams. When they realize you have a shared vision and you have the people involved, the right people to uh, make a project happen, uh, corporations are very interested. Toledo pitched in too. A donation came from the city's ongoing 40-year-old public arts program, funded by 1% of all income tax collections. Keep in mind, this bridge is now considered a work of art. There's a lot of things that the city of Toledo has to accomplish, but it's not a bad thing to um, celebrate the arts and celebrate beauty. That's what gives Toledo its soul. The donors were recognized at a party before the bridge lighting. Erwin Reddy was here too. He's the lighting artist of the bridge, saying each of the hundreds of LED lights can change to four different colors, able to reflect an event, day in history, or change in season. It's also a positive cosmopolitan image for a business, thinking of locating here since, as they say, you don't have a second chance to create a first impression. It's an active city, there's a downtown, there are people downtown, they go out at night, it's not a dead downtown anymore. Just a bridge, but definitely is putting Toledo in a good light. I'm Dick Berry, WTOL 11.